Hell Cop is an SRT. Pull up GY63, make a 55 suck day T. So I went to the principal because I wasn't joking with this little boy, you know, why are you trying to unstab me for pencil? I didn't come to school to get stabbed. And I was like, I used to be getting bullied by these little dumb children. From that day forward, I think I wore tights, yeah. If I wasn't wearing tights before, I definitely started wearing tights after. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be untwisting my twists. And yeah, I don't know what else. Maybe we'll talk about stuff. I don't know this is very impromptu because i have to untwist my hair and i was like content you know so that's what we're doing i should get something to put my hair in one one second i had these twists in my hair since like yeah for the second week of april so they've been in a while so we're taking them out. Um, I'm going to use this and Jackie's Girls E Blast, which is a spray. It's not really a spray, but it's like oil. It has um, vitamin E, coconut oil, shea butter, and olive oil. Nourishment for braids, locks, twists, coils, and chronically dry scalp and hair. It's sulfate free and paraben free, no mineral oils, and no petroleum. Petrolatum. I don't know what that is. I think that's that might be a byproduct of petroleum, probably. Probably. Um, yeah, so normally when I have my hair in twists, I put my hair in twists a lot because that's just easiest for me to do. Um, when I have twists in my hair, sorry. <coughs> when I have twists in my hair, usually I will like spritz it with water every couple days and then Put some of this in it but why i'm using this now is because you're supposed to use oil to like untwist your hair prevents like breakage and all of that but i don't really like to put oil in my hair so we're gonna use this this is basically oil too so spray it on our fingertips and let's start whoa, whoa, whoa. I put my hair in one usually to make it easier for me to untwist. Y'all, how y'all doing? I'm okay. You know, but like, how y'all doing? I'm so annoying. Every five seconds, I just be. Ugh. That's so cringe. Okay. Okay, this is looking like it's gonna be a good twist out. Let me back it up, back it up. Y'all know that TikTok sucks. Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> Y'all know that TikTok song. Back it up, back it up, back it up. You have a wristband? You can't get it in if you don't have a wristband. Back it up, back it up, back it up. My hair needs to trim because I have a lot of split ends. Why do I look like this? Ew. Ladies, love me so cause it could get ugly. Slow down. I really don't take my time and that is supposed to. And I don't just boost any nuts I see. Which is bad, but like nobody have time for all that. Baby. We took a trip, now we on your blood, and it's like a ghost town. It might still be cute. Okay, so this is how much more we have left to do. Y'all see my scar? Y'all want me to tell you how I got that scar? Right, so, um, when I was younger, like, you see what I'm talking about? See what I'm talking about. Back it up, back it up. 
Let me tell you this story of how I almost got stabbed in primary school. Um, I went to two, well, three, if we want to get like really specific, but I mainly went to two different primary schools, right? Anyways, back to how I almost got stabbed in primary school. So there was this boy in my class, and we were friends. We were cool. Like, we, you know, we were like buddies. We used to sit in groups, so we had like group one, group two, group three, group four, yeah, based on like smartness. I think I know how that now, that's a little, yeah, I, I don't know why we used to do that. I used to be in group two most of the time. I think I was in group one probably like twice, but for the most part I used to be in group two. But I like being in group two, group two was, was vibes, you know? So it had this boy, right? He was in group two. And I can't remember. I think he sat. Oh, I remember what he did. He sat in like, he sat in group four. He just was like sitting there someday, right? And I guess like us in group two, we were just like making jokes about him sitting in group four, right? That not sounding like anything to get upset about, right? It wasn't just me. Everybody in group two. We were just making jokes about how we were sitting in group four for that day or whatever, whatever, right? So then, I low-key feel like this boy had anger issues. Not just because of this, but because of like other stuff. He probably didn't have anger issues. But, yeah. Like, I guess I was dragging it. As I do. As I tend to do, I was dragging it. And he got really upset. This boy pulled out a pencil, right? And was trying to like stab me with this pencil, yo. I'm not even joking. Like I was at first I thought it was her. I thought we were playing, we weren't playing. Like this boy was chasing me around the class with a pencil. Trying to stab me basically. I think he had a bottle at first and he was trying to send a bottle at me. And then he pulled out his pencil. And this boy was trying to stab me. Yeah. So at first I was just running around the class thinking it was a joke, you know, thinking we were still cool, we were still buddies, but I could actually get killed, you know. Anyways, so I was out of breath, like I was really running. So I think it's had like two or three people in group two that were trying to get them to like stop and were like, you know, stop it, calm down, like stuff like that basically, saying it's not that serious, whatever, whatever, right? I guess he stopped eventually because I don't know. So I went to the principal because I wasn't joking if this little boy, you know, why are you trying to stab me for pencil? I wasn't joking. So I went to this lady's office and I told her this boy, so and so, is chasing me around the class trying to stab me for pencil. And she told me to call him for her. And I was like, Bet, like, I got your back. So I went upstairs in class. And I called him and I told him the principal was calling him. And you already know what that means. That means he's gonna get blamed. Like he was scared. Like he didn't want to go and I was like, I'm not playing with you like this lady really calling you, you need to go. So then um I went about my life because you know, I don't know how to describe it. it just have a ledge, right? And he went outside me, I was inside our classroom thinking this boy went downstairs to the principal's office like he was supposed to but he didn't but i didn't know that so i was just you know doing my work being productive moving on with my life thinking this boy was getting beat and i was like as he should be because i didn't come to school to get stabbed this was actually low-key very scary though like when i realized like he wasn't joking and this boy was really chasing me around with a pencil like i was there was a point in time where i was actually really scared and i remember this because this is a core memory right this was traumatizing to 10 11 year old kyla right he came back in and his eyes were like watery and his hand he showed us his hand and his hand was red so i was like but in my mind i was like so y'all i forgot this part right but i believe i had started crying at a point in time like while he was supposedly in the principal's office i was crying because like the other people in group two were basically saying like it wasn't that deep and i didn't have to go and tell the principal and stuff like that basically <laughs> 
but also you're like when i was younger i was a little cry baby i actually i used to cry for like every single thing and then we all moved on because you know at that age we don't really hold grudges you know we move on with our life and stuff later on i guess when we had settled down and we were all normal again and nobody was trying to starve anybody he told me that he had just go outside and hit his hand on the ledge to make it red and he had come back inside and yeah and we were laughing about it, but it really wasn't funny because, boy, like, you try and stab me in school, you're supposed to get consequences. Like, it really wasn't funny. And then, um, yeah. And he had tears in his eyes too, so I was like, this boy could act. That was one story from primary school. Another story from primary school, right, guys? This one is very embarrassing. So, for PE, our PE uniform was like a skirt and a shirt. The skirt was kind of like a wrap skirt, right? And it had like two buttons to secure it. You all probably know what kind of skirts I'm talking about. It have like lots of primary schools with those types of skirts. So, that's the type of skirt we had, right? Anyways, we had PE and we were like running and doing PE stuff. And then I fell and uh, my skirt, like, I don't know, one of the buttons or something had boots. So it fell and basically my pants, you can see my underwear like it fell like I wasn't wearing tights because for some reason in primary school, I didn't wear tights. Like I would wear tights if I had like netball or something but other than that like I don't know why I didn't wear tights. My piece good fell and nobody saw except for this one boy and then that was it like I pull up my skirt. And I asked to go to the principal's office. So that's what I did. I went and I got my skirt staple. And then, yeah, we went back to PE. And then after in class, that was it. And this boy, first of all, this boy, he used to like make fun of me. So I would have expected him to talk about this and bring this up. But he never mentioned it. Which, like, thank God, but it was honestly shocking because, like, every single thing I did, he would, like, make a joke out of it. But he didn't, and nobody else that I know about saw. So that was good. And we never spoke of it, but that was really embarrassing. From that day forward, I think I wore tights. Yeah, if I wasn't wearing tights before, I definitely started wearing tights after. Anyways, I didn't finish telling y'all how I got my scar story. here right so when i was younger i have one more guys no two more when i was younger um this was in saint lucia when i used to live in saint lucia right my grandmother would visit us sometime so she was in the island at that time sorry so she was staying with us so it was me my mommy my daddy my two sisters and me i think everybody was in like the living room or something and then it was time for me to go to bed because I was a little girl, you know. I was probably like eight, nine. I went to brush my teeth. And then while doing so, I needed to pee. So then I got up and I kind of slipped. And like this was the sink, this was the toilet. So I got up, little nine, eight year old me, slipped, fell forward, and my head hit the edge of the sink. And it started bleeding and I started crying and screaming and my parents rushed in and I was just standing up with my underwear, you know, just down and I was like, oh. Went to the hospital. My grandmother stayed with my two sisters, me and my mommy and my daddy. Went to the hospital. I was in the back seat with a jacket on and some something wrapped around my head on my mommy's lap, crying. And then we went to the hospital. And I got stitches. The girl was crying. And then my mommy gave me a watermelon lollipop. I remember this. Because she used to have these watermelon lollipops in her bag. That we liked. So she gave me one of those. I got my stitches and that was it. Okay, your last one.
thumbnail. <laughs> so guys, yeah, this is my twist out. This is how I untwist my hair. It's not anything special. I just untwist it. What am I saying? So yeah, yeah. Those were these three stories. I need to think of like y'all also, Loki. Like I used to get bullied in primary school. Like no joke, I actually used to get bullied. But at the time, like honestly, something was wrong with me because I didn't realize I was getting bullied. Like only recently, I was thinking about this and I was like, I used to be getting bullied by these little dumb children in primary school. But honestly, at the time, I used to laugh it off. Like it never actually used to bother me. Like honestly, it really didn't bother me. I was like, I was just like, I don't know. I was a weird child. But people used to make fun of my skin complexion and call me all like boys, especially boys in primary school. They used to make fun of my skin complexion and call me all sorts of like dumb names. And the thing is, half of them were my same skin complexion. And I was like, babe, it's like, if, is this, is this like self-hatred? Is this like, I, I don't get it. Y'all could see my hair actually needs to trim. I have dead ends and stuff. Not dead ends. What, what am I talking about? <laughs> split ends it's time for me to go to bed it's been a long week today's friday body yaddy 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 body crazy what's the what's body yaddy 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 look at how i ate it up and gave it back yeah you look good she said fix your shirt bear your gun showing i said fix your shorts bear your butt showing uh. y'all know which tiktok dance like i really love um Baby, go to work, throw it back, and then she twerk, and then she go for circle and trying to... I really like that TikTok dance, like, every day. I don't even know it, but every day. Baby, go for circle. Baby, go for circle. Stop. I need braces. Um, and I'm going to say that every day until I get them. Like, you'll see in this. That's not cute. We need to fix that. Y'all seen this? We need to fix that. She said, fix your shirt, bear your gun showing. I said, fix your shorts, bear your butt showing. All these want up JT. Hellcat, this is SRT. Pull up GY63. Make a 55 suck they teach. He went a menage with a new body. Many you can't with me because I came from the bottom for the child to the broke and saying the thing. Period. 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 You remember when everybody used to be like, period? I mean, people are still, still say period, but like. As y'all can see, my hair needs to be moisturized, but it's cute. I might make a few TikToks. Y'all, honestly, that's it here. Um. Thanks for listening to what did i do yeah i untwisted my hair i told you guys two three stories and we talked um keep in mind it's like 12 almost one so energy is low it's friday so energy is low but thanks for watching love you guys bye i'ma shake what my mama gave me i'ma shake my money maker it's time for the torture later it's time for the torture later i've been losing friends and finding peace but honestly, that sound like a fair trade to me. Look, don't invite me over if you throw another pity party. Looking back, it's okay. Bye, guys. Bye, y'all. For real. Bye. See y'all in my next video. <laughs> I'm so annoying. I'm annoying. I'm annoying. You remember Miranda Sings? That lady was annoying. Like, oh my gosh. Why did I used to watch her videos? I'm Miranda Sings. I'm Miranda Sings. <laughs> crying <laughs> dead yo the other day i was telling my mommy that i was feeling weak and she was like it's because you just always be saying you weak <laughs> it's not funny now but at the time <laughs> i was weak <laughs> at the time i really was weak yeah yeah, yeah. bye y'all